What's up guys, Pixels here, and in today's video, we're going to talk about Arc Survival Evolved versus Conan XL. I'm going to go ahead and give you guys my first impressions of Conan XL real quick. Before I start this video, I want you guys to know, even though I only played this game for a full 24 hours, this game is good. I like it. It feels different than Arc, so if you really want to compare this to Arc, you really can't, but I'm going to let you guys know which one is better because honestly, that's pretty much what you guys are probably here for because we all pretty much play Ark, and pretty much anybody who's playing Ark is going to look at Conan and see, is this game different? Is this game better? But I want you guys to keep in fact that this game is completely different than Ark. Ark has the dinos, and honestly, I feel like Ark is a little easier once you learn. I feel like Conan, you're always going to watch it back because the NPCs and the monsters and everything around it. But that's pretty much it. Like I said, I like the game so far, but let's get into this video. The first thing I want to talk about is the story. I feel like Ark has no story. It probably does, but it just when you start the game up, you're pretty much creating your own story. So I feel like everybody experiencing Ark is going to be a little different. Um, with Conan though, when I spawned in, it started talking to me. I ran into little monsters. It gave me a little side story, some lore. It just overall was a better setup when it came to this type of game. So if you plan on playing this game in single player, you honestly could. Like in Ark, I wouldn't recommend playing Ark in single player. It's just no fun at all. But in this game, I feel like I can do a let's play. I can, you know, show you guys what's up with the game and still only play in single player mode and still have fun. So I feel like the story in Conan is a lot better than Ark overall. The next thing I wanna talk about is the dinos, monsters, and NPCs in Conan, Ark. And um, pretty much what I think is, Ark pretty much have dinos. They have dinos, they have different you know, type of dinos, different animals. It just overall felt like a whole Jurassic Park. It's like, it felt like we was playing Jurassic Park. And that's why I think a lot of people love Ark for what it is. But with Conan, they have monsters and NPCs. And I think with the NPCs, it adds a lot to the game. Like, yeah, you can go out and get monsters. And we don't know if it's confirmed if we can actually tame dinos or even control the dinos. But I know with NPCs, we can pretty much get these guys and make them work for us at our base. Learn different materials, get them to craft stuff for us. And I like that. And I think that's one thing that stands out between Ark and Conan. Is because Conan, literally, it feels like you have more than one objective. Once you tame everything in, in Ark... What is it else to do? Unless, I mean, yeah, you got the new tech tier stuff, but what is it else to do? The next thing I want to talk about is combat. Now, I know you probably think right now, this guy loves Conan more than Ark. I'm not saying that. I think it's a completely different game, but the next one I'm going to have to give to Conan, and that is the combat. Ark has no combat. The only combat it has, really, is punching and using a weapon and shooting. That's it. Conan, it just feels like they work really hard on the combat. It needs a little work, but I honestly feel like Conan will have a better combat system than Ark because you can literally jump to the side, jump to the right, you can dodge moves. It's so freaking awesome. And I don't think it's actually guns in Conan. I think it's only weapons, which is amazing. You actually gonna have to learn how to fight and block. And even when you use a shield, the way it breaks, it just looks overall better. So I like the fact that Conan has combat and I think Ark should take from Conan and actually make his combat better. Graphics wise, I'm gonna have to give it to Ark graphics and arc if you ever play at ultra settings this game looks beautiful i think conan it looks great even though it's in the desert i honestly have to give this to arc because if you guys ever seen arc and pretty much 4k it looks amazing like i can honestly say arc is probably the most beautiful game i've ever played ever and i have to give the arc like arc i feel like arc wants the consoles be able to Right now, I know you, if you play on Xbox, I want to know most of you guys do. You guys really don't really know Ark until you've seen it on the PC. I'm not saying PC better. I'm just saying, like, you haven't really seen the graphics of Ark unless you played on PC. The next thing I want to talk about is Tech Tier and Gods. I wasn't going to put this in the same category because I felt like Tech Tier and the God system in Conan XL was a little bit different. I honestly feel like the Tech Tier is actually better than the Gods because it just feel like you know you're working towards and you can't really get it as easy i know with the gods you can get it easy because they also already said that you know once you get the you know get the god you pretty much get to go you have to go out and get certain items but i feel like it's gonna be a lot easier to get the gods than it is to go over the arc and be a boss battle and get detected now i want to talk about the next thing i want to talk about is which game ran better at launch i'm gonna have to roast arc for this but arc ran like trash when it first came out i couldn't play it i literally dropped the game for a year until it came to the xbox one i wasn't even going to touch it it's a lot better now but i will say at launch conan xl runs smooth as hell and hopefully 
this is a trend for more early access games because yeah your game could be bad and you can always get better but if your game don't run period then it's no point you know arc recovered from it they got better at it and i you know i congratulate them on that but i do want to talk about one thing about conan that you guys probably don't know the servers if you want to play online i heard it's a little buggy right now but the single player mode runs perfectly so just go ahead and play that until they get the you know the servers up running but overall conan xl wins at launch this next one i'm gonna have to get the art because conan just released but that's the updates arc really update their game a lot and i love early access games that don't just come out and don't update their game the arc does really put a lot of work and passion into this game you can see of how many updates we get on steam how many updates we get on xbox one how many updates we get on the ps4 Wildcard really puts in a lot of freaking work and I'm proud of it. So hopefully Conan can really take that and make their game better because if you continue to update your game, no one can complain if you're not doing what you need to do. No one can complain that you're not putting the work that you promise. So hopefully Conan does what Ark does and continue to update this game and make it amazing. The next one I want to talk about is the grind. And the grind, I feel like you will honestly say arc is a grind, but once you actually learn arc and actually know how to play, the grind isn't that hard. Once you know everything's at, I honestly think Conan will be an even harder grind because the NPCs and the monsters alone, like if you guys ever see if you guys see my um more blood video or too much blood, literally these monsters will rip you apart. When you you can literally get bit in arc or whatever and run. In this game you lose everything at death. Now, they did add something like art where if you die, you can go get your body back. But I just feel like, man, this grind here will probably be the worst. Like, it was, it's taking me forever to build a freaking foundation and a house and all together. Uh, but other than that, I still think it's cool. Now, I want to talk about building real quick. And I wasn't going to add that in this video because it's pretty much the same. But I do want to say the only difference between art and coning and building is you can pretty much build anywhere. In Conan XL. Arc, you kind of can't put foundations on every places, but with Conan XL, you can literally build on like a cliffside. It's it's pretty badass. I'm probably gonna make a build eventually showing you guys this, but you can build anywhere in Conan XL, and I love that. That's pretty much how I feel about Arc and Conan. Let me know in the below what you guys think about it. But I will say you have to remember Arc is on every platform. So I feel like we can't really judge Conan until it actually comes out on the Xbox One. And I would love to know when it comes to the PS4 because that's one thing I feel that hurt Arc. I wish Arc came out on the PS4 and the Xbox One at the same time. Because now, you know, I play with everybody on Xbox One and Arc Survival Evolve. And the people that I'm friends with on the PS4, I can't really play with them as much because I'm more, you know, I'm more invested over that Xbox right now. So I hopefully that Conan can really work something out with PlayStation. PlayStation cannot be, you know, some stubborn and just let them do what they need to do. Let them bring this to every console and continue to update. But before we go, I want to say this. I want to ask you guys a question. I want you guys to be really honest. If you played Conan XL or seen gameplay of Conan XL, do you think it can compete with Ark? Because there's a lot of survival games out there. I own pretty much all of them. And I can honestly say that from the first hour I played Conan, I saw something special. And I feel like if anybody can compete with Ark, it might be Conan. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe new. Let me know in the comments below what you think. Do you guys think Ark is better? Do you guys think Conan is better? Or do you think they can live together and be perfect games? All right, guys, thanks for watching. See you guys later. Peace.